My name is Mari Grijalva. I am the director of the Infectious and Tropical Disease Institute at Ohio University and of the Center for Research on Health in Latin America with our partner institution, Pontifical Catholic University of Ecuador. Through the partnership between Ohio University and Pontifical Catholic University of Ecuador, we were able to create this research infrastructure and this team of researchers in country that responded effectively to the needs of Ecuador for addressing the COVID pandemic. To date, our center has processed more than 25,000 uh, PCR tests, mostly from underserved populations and from public hospitals that uh, do not have the capacity to do the testing by themselves. The partnership between Ohio University and Pontifical Catholic University of Ecuador was born from research into Chagas disease. On the basis of that strong interaction, it has blossomed to include collaborations between dozens of faculty in many different colleges across the university. This process has created a sense of community, a sense of unity, a sense of a wonderful partnership between the members of the community which have found their voice and now are able to be the agents of their own improvement. And this is fostering an environment that is expanding the opportunities for our students to participate in projects that are multidisciplinary, that are multinational, and that are a learning experience that is unique. The multidisciplinary approach to this training is uh, really something that increases the competence of our students to tackle the health problems of the new century. Healthy Homes for Healthy Living is the central project of the Healthy Living Initiative, and it has combined biological information with architecture and sociological information to create this house prototype that responds to the needs and the way of living of the community. At the same time, it keeps the family healthy and the bugs that transmit Chagas disease. To date, we have been able to work with our partners in Ecuador and with families in the communities where the project happens to build eight anti-Chagas homes. Every house that is built is a learning process that informs the next step of the initiative. And now we are ready to scale this up to the next frontier of this project, which is building 30 houses. And I hope that as soon as the COVID pandemic is over, we can move ahead with this ambitious yet marvelous project that increases not only the well-being of the people, but their sense of dignity and provides a hope for millions of people in Latin America. The Healthy Living Initiative has many aspects. One is the home improvement, but also the construction of drinking water projects, of irrigation systems, creating agricultural associations. The project fostered and uh, facilitated the formation of a women's handcrafting group in 2011, and they continue strong. Initially, they were producing handcrafts to selling in the markets and uh, earrings and other uh, jewelry. They diversified then to other products. And in response to the pandemic, they started making face masks. These face masks are, are uh, sold in the community at very reasonable prices, uh, 25 to 50 cents per mask, uh, to all of the uh, people so that the children can come together safely as well as the community members. This is an initiative that is marvelous and really showcases how these rural communities can come together to improve their health. Recently, I had the opportunity to participate in a virtual talk show with a radio station in Southern Ecuador that is geared towards the rural population. And I was talking about COVID prevention and uh, those things. And one of the callers from a uh, rural community, after saying hello, the question and the comment was about how I was doing. How was my family? How were the students? And when are we coming back? And that was a really beautiful example of how the people in the communities 
in southern Ecuador where we work have really connected with us, with the project and with the students that participate in the program.